Hi everyone, so here we are. The day of the exhibition down at East Cobride Art Centre. So just taking some footage just outside, setting the scene. This is my third exhibition in the art centre. And uh, there's lots of work from the lockdown period right the way through to present day. Coming round, having a wee quick look at the full gallery there. But here we go through from number one, all the paintings. So Travaux's Head Lighthouse, place that we visit often when we're down in Cornwall, quite close to Constantine Beach. Lovely spot. So here we are, Castle Stalker in between Fort William and Oban. Lovely castle, quite an atmospheric picture. I hope you would agree. And then all with my wee miniatures. All individually priced as well. Coming to Clock Lighthouse. St Michael's Mount and then Glencoe some wee mini prints available if you come along to the Comic Cons you'll see these on my stall one of my favourite pictures sold ages ago Pulp Fiction Jimi Hendrix Enter the Dragon Bruce Springsteen and then Angel from Blade Runner. Probably not his actual name, but I always call him the Angel. Ruga Hoor, fantastic actor. And then we've got the plate, the fruit bowl. This was done during lockdown. We commission upcycling an old bowl. And then we've got Corinthian. Morpheus Now this was a mess, this picture I have exhibited this one before in a previous guise but what I've done was I repainted it done a lot of work in the background with the mountains the actual stacks as well it's actually called Old Man, Old Man of Store, as you know but it's famous for its stacks. I repainted the foreground as well. Some of my signature marks with a palette knife. So, probably one of my favorite pictures now. I really like it, and I hope you do too. These have been about for a wee while now. Upcycled my old spray cans from when I was doing some street art and murals. Got a couple of murals lined up for this year. Here we are, Elvis, a big version of the Bruce Springsteen print. And then we've got the Jokers. My wee cabinet with some of my sketchbooks and my watercolours. centerpiece on the window wall is my mill hall picture and then coming round Stranger Things Stranger Things Eddie, Vecna and Dustin three of my favourite characters from the show and then the wee Watering can, upcycled Belgic watering can, the Joker, and then the Angel. This one was in the big art show last year in Paisley, first time it had been shown. So, most of you have not seen it in this situ in East Cobed Art Centre, so. 
one of my favourite pieces. In terms of fan art, everybody loves Stranger Things. I was just at Aberdeen Comic Con just a couple of weeks ago, and then they had some of the cast, which was great. Listen to them talk about the show. Did try to get some spoilers, and it does look like Eddie's not going to be back, unfortunately, in season five. There's my veg bowl. Another wee commission. And then some other small prints. Deadpool, Guineas, Beetlejuice. Will we say it three times? Maybe later. Freddy and Harley Quinn. This was revised as well. This one was really quite vivid with the colours. All the oranges. Not quite right, so I repainted it. And I think it's much better this time. So the lads, we're going over to Bruce Springsteen in New York in a couple of weeks. In fact, it's just a week. A week in Saturday. So looking forward to that. But I thought I would do a big tribute picture. This is obviously him as he is now. And then this one here, we are installation. Got these plates from a chap in Glasgow. And then I upcycled them to create this art installation. Quite happy with the way it's presented. So we've got Last of Us continuing the fan art theme. Last of Us, this is a game on the left hand side, and then that's the show. Recent TV show on Sky Atlantic. There's the original of Morpheus. And then the girl from Prey, Nanu. Now, these, we've story behind these pictures. This is where the phrase Big Art, uh, sorry, this is where the phrase Big, Bold, and Beautiful was coined. One of the judges came up and then said that uh, she described my art as being Big, Bold, and Beautiful. So I thought, oh, that's quite interesting, quite like that. So this was my picture as a wild card and sky artist, sky landscape artist of the year in 2020. And then we've got the Gateshead picture from 2019. Torrento de Perez. In Mallorca. This has been shown before. You probably rem remember this from the last video, Autumn Fields, but one of my favourite pictures. Thought I would show it again. And stepping back, this is a centrepiece for the whole exhibition. This is what it's all about Ellen Donning Castle. Fortunate to have a wee trip up there in January. Was it January? Maybe February? Anyhow. Had a fantastic trip up north and got some great photographs which you'll see down in the show downstairs but I done this painting for the the couple promised them a wee print St Andrews St Andrews reflection Another trip that we had just recently was going over to Sorrento in Italy in October. And this was one of the spots, the Olive Grove. With work I've also went down to Wales. It was down in the, the Gower Peninsula quite a few years ago. And then I painted this one, this Worm's Head. It's actually featured in the Sky Artist, Landscape Artist of the Year. The lagoon. The lagoon from Sorrento. 
And then here's Freya's version of Positano looking through the window onto the beach and all the wee houses. Absolutely fantastic. So that's the, the gallery. Just a quick pan round already. All numbered. Just walk into the middle so you can get the other wall. So my art exhibition in East Kilbride Art Centre 2023. Hope you can come along and see it in person. This one was done in 2015, The World of Roald Dahl. Still one of my favourites. And then The Year of Young People, 2018. And then this one was done last year, The Great Outdoors. So these three murals feature in my video for the murals that I do. So have a wee look at that too. Got a few murals already organised for this year, so looking good. This one's my favourite. So this is the final video, or final part of the video. It's the day after the preview, and then just looking around the show, just really taking in what happened last night. It was so well attended, so thank you for everybody that came along. Hopefully if you've watched the video, you've got a wee insight into the work that I'll do. I'm hoping to take this exhibition on tour. Bring it to a town near you. So a fantastic evening. And looking forward to a good month in the Art Centre. But anyhow, please, if you've liked the video, hit the like button, and if you've not already, 